हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंटोमोलॉजी हेयर वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट मेन डेफिनेशन रिगार्डिंग एंटोमोलॉजी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट इज व्हाट इज एंटोमोलॉजी एंटोमोलॉजी इज डिराइव फ्रॉम टू ग्रीक वर्ड्स एंटोमोन एंड लॉगोस एंटोमोन इज रिलेटेड टू इंसेक्ट्स एंड लॉगोस इज स्टडी ऑफ it may be defined as a branch of zoology which deals with the study of insects actually the entomology is mainly a branch of zoology where we will discuss different kinds of animals what is applied entomology the study of insects causing economic loss or benefit to human health or property their control is called applied entomology next is what is an insect the word insect is derived from latin word entomology was from greek and insect is from latin word insectum which means to cut actually insects body is cut into different parts which we call as segment so literally it means cut into segments it is a cold blooded invertebrate animal which belongs to class insecta hexapoda hexapoda means having six legs its distinctive character is the presentation of six legs acrology have eight legs what is a pest in a wide sense a pest may be defined as any organism which harms or causes damage to man directly or indirectly like weeds rodents insect mites in rodents we will discuss so there are different kinds of weeds broad leaf narrow leaf which cause damage to our crops rodents cause damage to our crops insect insect they directly affect our health or they may indirectly cause damage so likewise mites what is a leaf roller it is an insect which is the larval stage of its life force a leaf thus making a shelter in which it feeds and rests so what it do it take the both corners of a leaf and rolls it and make a shelter for itself a large number of moths of family pyrida has cotton leaf roller it is a very famous insect cotton leaf roller what is a leaf miner it is an insect which is in the larval stage mines and feeds between the two layers of a leaf they feed on spongy internal cells of the leaf which which is known as mesophyll mostly leaf miners are tiny flies or moths however the grubs of some beetle species are also included under the term leaf miner citrus leaf miner what are borers the borers are insects which in their larval stage bore in buds leaves fruits seeds nuts and stems sugar cane borer cotton ball worm complex what is a gall a gall is an abnormal proliferation of insect plant cells resulting from outside stimulus this stimulus may be a mechanical irritation or injury or fungal growth or the activity of a nematode a mite or an insect gall was producing galls of young shoots of conifers how does the gall insect make a gall in case of insect it is not the mechanical injury of the tissue that stimulates the plant but the chemical secretions released by the growing larva after hatching from the egg so when it continues to grow it's it secretes some chemicals which induce gall formation in plant what benefits does the gall insect get from a gall the tissues of the gall are specially nutritious being very rich in protein and of course the insect inside the gall is well sheltered from the weather and protected against desiccation what is cannibalism Cannibalism is a practice of dining on one's own feces. It is found in 
some species of termites, larvae of American bollworm and lacing. While a shortage of food occurred, they continue feeding on their own individuals of population. What is a larva? The young one of holometabola or we can say it is the second stage of indirect metamorphosis. So there are different kinds of morphosis we will study in future like a metamorphosis and indirect and direct metamorphosis. See? And so the insect larvae are free living different in structure and habitats from their adults while in direct metamorphosis adults and their young ones look alike. What is a pupa? It is a resting stage of indirect metamorphosis. Resting stage in endoterigodes is called pupa. It is non-feeding and inactive stage that occurs between larva and adult stage. What is Piparium, the case where pupa hides or takes shelter is called piparium. The outer case of concrete quartet tuta left by fully grown adult or housefly or the ball fly is called piparium. What is an egg? An embryo enclosed in a shell. Insects, birds, reptiles lay eggs. They Insect egg consists of a nucleus and a mass of yolk within the central protoplasm, which is surrounded by a metalline membrane which is covered from outside with a relatively thick outer shell called chorion. What is an embryo? An animal or plant in early stage of its development is called an embryo. What is a nymph? The young one of hemimetabolous insects or exoterigotes which are terrestrial in habitat. Grasshoppers, cockroaches, nymphs resembles with the adult except for the fact that wings and reproductive organs are undeveloped. What is a net? The young one of exoterigotes or hemimetabolous but aquatic is in habitat. Nymphs may be terrestrial nares are Aquatic. What is a grub? Grub is a legless larva having a tiny head and few sense organs. So they don't have legs. The body is fleshy and rounded. There is little difference between both ends. The larva of bees and some beetles are of this type. What is a maggot? Maggot usually belongs to flies. The young ones of fly is called a maggot. Maggots are also legless but more pointed. The one end is very pointed. We can observe it very easily. They are well distinguished from the less pointed and legless grubs. The grubs are less pointed. What is an imago? The adult form of an insect after metamorphosis is sometimes called imago. What is tagmina? Tagmina is the thick forming of beetles. The hard forming of beetles is called oh sorry, the leather like forming of grasshoppers or cockroaches are called tagmina. What is elytra? Elytra is hard forming of beetles, very shiny, very strong. What are hemelytra? These belong to bugs. The forming of bugs of which the basal half is hard and the distal half membrane membranous are called amylitra. The part attached to the thorax is usually hard while the distal part away from the thorax is membranous. What are halters? The hind wings of flies are modified into some small membranous structure called halters. These help in balancing the insect during flight. What is diapause? The physiological state of arrested metabolism in which development of insect is delayed. What is obligatory diapause? The diapause which occurs at correct time is called obligate. It occurs in univoltine. Uni means one, voltine means generation. 
so one generation in a year what is facultative post embryonic diapause the diapause which occur only in unfavorable environment is called facultative or post embryonic diapause it occurs in polyvoltine poly means many voltaic generation what is hibernation it is a type of diapause which occurs in winter it is also known as winter sleep what is aestivation aestivation is a di- diapause which occurs in summer or drought time what is dormancy a non actively growing or functioning period in the life cycle when growth development and reproduction are suppressed what is starvation starvation is a suffering due to low food starvation cause in insect due to low food but are herbivorous insects the insect which feed on herbs herbivorous herb feeding so the insect which feed on plants only are called herbivorous insects crop pests all of the crop pests are herbivorous what are monophagous insects those insects which feed on one type of food mono one so one type of food monophagous like pink ball worm of cotton it only feeds on cotton wool it feeds on apples what are polyphagous insects which have different hosts those insects which feed on many sorts of food are called polyphagous american ball worm helicoverpa armigera what are omnivorous insects those insects which feed on wide variety of food from plants to animals are called omnivorous insects like ants what are carnivorous insects so these will feed only on flesh those anim- those insects which feed on animal flesh are called carnivorous insects so like predators green leg lean and mantis and odonates insects these are all carnivorous insects what are oviparous insects which always related to eggs producing eggs by female what are viviparous insects producing young ones or by female what are oviposit what is oviposition the period of egg laying from first to the final egg laid by a female is called oviposition so the total period from start to end of egg laying is known as oviposition what is natality natality is related to birth rate mortality is related to death rate fecundity so the rate at which females produce eggs is called fecundity what is viability the rate at which males produce sperm is called viability so fecundity is related to females and viability is related to males what is fertility it is a physiological image indicating that an organism is capable of breeding either is fertile or non fertile define a semi lupus the larva having three pairs of prolegs on fifth sixth and tenth abdominal segment cotton semi lupus so caterpillar have more legs so let's discuss the larva having five pair of prolegs one on each of the third fourth fifth sixth and tenth abdominal segment members of family noctidae and pyralidae what what is the looper so so the looper will only have two le- two pair of legs in the larva which makes a loop during locomotion and having a two pair of prolegs on 6th and 10th abdominal segment member of family geometridae so what are surface insects these insects generally damage very young plants which have just emerged from the soil surface after germination most of them are nocturnal in habitat nocturnal is those nocturnal insects which are active during the night period are known as nocturnal diurnal during daytime and crepuscular during day and dawn and dusk 
वट आर वायर वॉम्स तो वायर वॉम्स आर एलॉन्गेटेड रिबन लाइक लार्वा ऑफ बीटल दे आर मोस्टली फाउंड डैमेजिंग द रूट्स एंड ट्यूबर्स ऑफ पोटैटो क्रॉप लार्वा ऑफ क्रिक बीटल लेक्सीफेडिक वट इज बायसेक्चुअल हर्म ऑफ सोडाइट द ऑर्गेनिजम हैविंग बोथ द सेक्सेज और हैविंग करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ बोथ द सेक्सेज कार बायसेक्चुअल और हर्म ऑफ सोडाइट तो कॉटनी क्वेश्चन स्केल इज है बायसेक्शुअल और हर्माफ्रोडाइट इंसेक्ट वट आर यूनिवर्ल टाइम स्पीचिस लोअर इंसेक्ट स्पीचिस विच हैव ओनली वन जनरेशन इन अयर आर कॉल्ड यूनिवर्ल टाइम स्पीचिस वट आर पॉलीवर्ल टाइम स्पीचिस लोअर इंसेक्ट स्पीचिस विच हैव मोर देन वन जनरेशन इन अयर आर कॉल्ड पॉलीवर्ल टाइम स्पीचिस मोस्ट ऑफ द इंसेक्ट पेस्ट आर शुगर के एंड टॉप बोरर है फाइव टू सिक्स वट इज मल्टी वॉल टाइम स्पीचिस द टर्म मल्टी वॉल टाइम रेफर्स टू एन इंसेक्ट डेट हैज सेवरल जनरेशन ड्यूरिंग अ सिंगल सीजन सो इन अ सिंगल सीजन इट विल है a lot of generations trichogramma elonis is a parasite it has many many generation in a single season what are diurnal insects so as we discussed earlier insects which are active during day like or are called diurnal like butterflies so what are nocturnal insects insects which are active at night are called nocturnal Like house cricket, cockroaches, moths. What are crepuscular insects, which are mainly active during evening or morning twilight, are called crepuscular. What is a vector organism that transmits a pathogenic virus, bacterium, protozoan, or fungus from one host to another? These are known as vectors. Like white flies, it transmits cotton leaf curl virus and many other viruses and likewise aphid is transmit banana bunchy top virus so aphid transmit banana bunchy top virus and um, white flies leaf curl viruses what do you mean by insect control so insect control does not mean to eradicate the insect because we cannot eradicate insect they are very very um, as we can say they bounce back very strongly so to me eradicate but it means to check or reduce insect population at sub economic level in here we we can say that we try to maintain the population below the ideal level economic threshold level what are prolegs prolegs are the unjointed limbs found on some of the prominent segments of caterpillars as we discussed in semi lupus caterpillars and lupus these prolegs are absent in lupus what is the embryonic development the changes which take place inside the egg up to the hatching and development of insects inside the egg is called embryonic development and beyond the embryonic development it would be post embryonic development the development and growth of an insect from the time of hatching up to the adult stage is called post embryonic development but this cutellum it is mostly it is present in hemipterous insect we call as bugs this cutellum is a triangular sclerite found on the thoracic notum between the base of wing in the membrane of in the member for the hemiptera it is a part where we place our pin to mount the insect what is parasite it is an organism which lays on or within another living organism parasites are always smaller and weaker than their host warble flies what is a predator a free living animal that attacks and feeds on other organisms is known as predator predators are mostly powerful larger in size 
ดนเดียสเปรย์กรอทอฟักกอเนียวัตอีสเปรสคอลด์ปัตตัมเปรสคอลด์อิสอัพลายด์ฟอร์ดูดอินเซกสัจเจสอีชนิมอนฟลายด์อีชัลติเมตริคิลเดียร์โฮสอินคอนทราสต์ฟครูเปรสไซด์สัจเจสวาร์บัลฟลายด์วิชตูนอตสวัสดีเมนดิฟเฟนซิสเปรสคอลด์เมคิลเดียร์ Hosts. Besides parasites, are parasitic only in certain stages of their life. What are scavengers? So the scavengers they are feeding on you know, decaying parts like vegetable or animal matter, anything they can eat. Scavengers are some beetles or flies which feed on dead organisms. Member of Crabida family. What is metamorphosis? So the metamorphosis usually all the changes that occur in an insect, we can say in shape, in structure, and anything that is regarding to development from egg till adult formation. All the changes that occur in an insect in shape or structure during their developmental period is called metamorphosis. Next is what is stadium. The interval or period between two moles of a of each insect is called stadium. What is instar? So the it is the shape of insect during the stadium or stage between two moles. Like there are three moles, four moles, five moles. So the shape between in during a stadium or stage between two moles. Before the molting, after the first molting and the, before the second molting, the stage between them would be an instar. The number of larval instar vary from three to about thirty, as many as thirty. What are agricultural insects? A few species of ants and termites which depend on cultivated plants are called agricultural insects. Leaf cutting ants cut pieces. Out of leaves and carry them down to their nest as a medium on which they grow fungi. What are cosmopolitan insects? Those insects which we can see anywhere, like anywhere, really. Those insects which are found everywhere are called cosmopolitan insects. One percent of all the insects are probably cosmopolitan. Most of them are parasites of men, like human lice, fleas, or flies, cockroaches. Anywhere where a human is based, house flies would be there, cockroaches would be there, human lice would be there. So they, we call them as cosmopolitan insects. These were the basic definitions of regarding entomology. Hopefully, you understand them well. We will meet in the next video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.